Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. This video is going to be a little bit different. I'm recording inside of a camper and I'm trying my best here to continue on with these YouTube videos as I'm camping. Anyways, today we're talking about Skyline and PCSX2. Let's get started. All right, we'll kick things off here talking about Skyline. I have been asked this one quite a bit and it's in regards to the save file trick. Some games like Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee require a save file in order to get in-game, and the process is pretty simple and straightforward. Now, in order to access Skyline's save file location on your Android device, you will need to get one of two apps, either Zed Archiver or Explorer, and this will vary from device to device, so you have to download both and see what works for you. Once you have one of the two apps opened up, navigate to SD card and then Android. From here, access data. From here, scroll down to where you see Skyline dot emu and click on it click on switch then click on NAND, then click on user, click on save, click on the bunch of zeros, click on the longer list of zeros with a one at the end, and your Switch game should be listed here. Now, if you're not seeing anything at all, just make sure to open up your game and make sure an initial save file is created. And that way, this list should populate for you. And from there, you're pretty much done. Feel free to place the save files in whatever game folder you want. Now these games are not listed by name, they're listed by code, and if you don't understand the code, that is absolutely fine, it's completely normal. If you want to learn more about game codes and even game saves, check out the Skyline Discord, they have got things figured out there. They may or may not have cracked the code and have the code listed for the game you're looking for, and they may or may not have the save files you're looking for, so check out that Discord, I'll leave a link in the description below. And one more thing to add here, please be respectful if you are joining that Discord from this video. There are a lot of great people there, a lot of great members, and they're generally pretty darn friendly. If you're having a problem, you'll probably get it resolved, but be patient, don't get frustrated, and try to be nice to the community. And next up here, we're still talking about Skyline, version 1225 just released today. And it may or may not have some improvements, so be sure to check that out. Make sure your Skyline is up to date. Last up here, if you're a fan of PlayStation 2 emulation on PC, you're going to like this news. Thanks to the legendary Stenzek, PCSX2 just had a massive improvement. Games like True Crime New York City now work pretty darn well, especially upscale. If you are curious to read more about this, I'll leave a link to their GitHub in the description below. Feel free to check it out. And if you're using PCSX2, make sure to check out the latest development build. And I'll leave a link to that in the description below. But anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point. All stuff and no fluff. Let me know your thoughts about anything we talked about today in the comments below. And I do apologize if this video seems a little bit rough around the edges. I am recording it inside of a trailer for the first time while camping. And I'm also recording this video, editing it, and posting it from a Steam Deck. The entire thing is being powered by my Steam Deck. I'm trying something completely new altogether, trying a bunch of things new. So let me know your thoughts about anything like that in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. Check out my other videos. Don't tempt fate. Save your state.